Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. So I'm just going to answer this question real fast. No, today is all free. Yeah. It's always free. Thanks always for joining us. And if you want to rewatch the live, they're saved on all of our uh, respective pages, whether it be on Facebook or YouTube. You can rewatch it at your leisure. So we also you? want to thank all of you guys who sent us stars last time and maybe time before. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you can send stars for those of you who don't know what these are. You can send stars via comment section on Facebook. You do have to purchase the stars before you can actually send the stars. Yeah, so it's just like a little tip jar. Well, so the lives you can watch them for free, but you know we always appreciate um, the support when you send stars on Facebook or um, doing a super chat on YouTube. Or you could sign up to our Patreon. That's another great one. Yeah. Yes, we all have Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jeremy. Yes, thank you for noticing. Um, yes, white wall for a change. Mm -hmm. How nice, huh? It's freshly painted white wall. It's yeah. freshly painted, yes. It's oh, freshly very fresh. Hello, everyone. Hi. Happy Friday. Good afternoon. I'm from Hi. South Africa, UK. Hi, Byron. Hi, Byron. Han, uh, we're not telling you where Han is today. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> uh, maybe later, whatever, but I don't think this will ever come out, yes. Hi, Lynn. I'm very dedicated, just, just, just to say, I'm very dedicated yeah. to our lives. <laughs> Hello, Maria, Susan. Hi, oh, yeah. Yeah. Jennifer, that's right. We're we're gonna put Amber a little bit on the spot today. I'm so nervous. I'm really nervous. I'm excited. No, oh, don't be nervous. Oh, thank you, you Lee. That's so thank nice. You. Thank you. All right. We will. We will. Um, you can guys post your questions. We will go through them. Um, as we are working. No, she's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, did I see in Texas they had some crazy uh, w winter weather there that they're not accustomed to? Oh yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, from Texas, and hey, hey, from Greece. So I think Amber, just for the sake of what's happening today, maybe I'll go quickly first. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sounds good. He's got his, his popcorn ready. <laughs> okay, so for today, let me just pop in my camera and we'll do the dance of the cameras. So on Tuesday, if you watch, because I'm live on Tuesdays with Amy, I made these royal icing uh, transfers to make some St. Patrick's Day gnomes. So I made those on Tuesday. So they've had plenty of time to dry. And you can see here, they pop right off. Like you can even reuse your part. Mine is super slick, my parchment paper, so you can reuse them. And then here you can see the clover. I made another version with sanding sugar, and I have to say I prefer them to the um, to the plain ones. I, I, have a, I have a question. I have a question for you. Do you ever? Well, I know you use parchment, but um, do you find that when you use sanding sugar, does it take longer to dry? Because I find that it does take longer to dry. Because like sandy sugar creates for me like some kind of a barrier that the air cannot go through as quickly. So it takes for my transfers when I use sending sugar longer to dry. It's very possible, but I wasn't waiting for them to dry. You know, like it's you know what I mean. Like sometimes you're not really thinking. That, like I did them on Tuesday, where Friday they had plenty of time. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. So here, here's like the the valentine's version i did a little heart version and this one here i didn't feel like mixing the red so i did the the heart with the hand color then i airbrushed it and then just quickly added the little hands so all that's made so now i'm just going to quickly decorate a cookie so you can kind of see 
So I'm a big fan of uh, guidelines, especially if maybe you're, you know, cookie decorating is fun, but not everybody is a, is a, a super skilled uh, artist. And that doesn't mean you can't decorate cookies. Cookies are technical. Like, of course, if you're artistic, that's great, but that's, if you're not a natural artist, you can still make cookies is my point, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. That's one activity for anybody. And so I- Are you working with your favorite shape ever? A candy corn cutter. So <laughs> it's basically a Halloween cutter, but it's just such a shape that's, you can use it for so many different things. And so normally I wouldn't recommend using a black marker, but just so that you guys can see better on a camera, because depending on the color, the black marker can leach into your icing or if it shows on the side, it's not as nice. So I don't usually like to use it for, for guidelines. I use like yellow, orange colors like that. Mm -hmm. And there's the general lines. And then the other thing is if you do that, well, all your cookies will kind of look the same. And here's one I did earlier. And just to show you, you can see here, there's like a bit of a shadow color of the green. You see it's darker gray. Yeah. Darker. So you can kind of just give yourself that like little line now. So you can kind of know where to put that on. I'm gonna stop you for a second. So Kristen is asking what consistency um you use for your transfers oh it's pretty thick the if you work with runnier icing to make transfers they tend to dry a little flat mm -hmm. so mine is probably 20 seconds and i usually have to agitate them to get them to kind of smooth because i like them i like them chubby i like them fat you see it does help i would say if they're when they're super thin and you're using you applying dry transfer on wet icing other times, I, right? The icing, not necessarily the color, but it can seep through, right? The like, yes. icing I don't have that color issue, I guess, because I do make them like on the big side, you know, they're fat. So I don't have that, that kind of issue. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just, because I've got everything sectioned off, you're basically coloring like a coloring page. So I can just quickly add the face area there. And my icing needs a little filling because it's on the thick side. And now I'm adding in the wet icing, I'm gonna pop in some eyes. I like I don't know why I see Yoda. I don't know why I see Yoda. Maybe. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I like pearls just because then you don't have to mix uh, black icing or you know, like it just quickly you can pop the eyes. And I like to put them to the wet icing so that they can be squished in. If not, if you add them after, well, they're like sticking inside the head and I don't like that look as much. Mm -hmm. And they're also prone to falling off if you add it after to yeah. the dry icing. And this is optional. I decided to do like, there's like a shadow on the guy, but you don't have to do that. You could do it all like just, um, you know, one shade of green. Of course, if you do the two, well, you have to mix two bags. And you can wait in between sections if you like, like more definition between the two sections, but this is live, so there's no time for that nonsense. <laughs> I, hear you, Jeremy. I hear you, Jeremy. Uh, Brenda has a question about the pearls, the beads, you, pearls. You yes. use. What size of beads are did you use for the eyes? So the, the store that sold those is, um, how sweet is that? And it's like a, a brand that I think she gets in bulk and repackages. So it says her- uh, How sweet is that? I'm going to, um, okay. How? So I'm shaking it so that they'll like level together. Mm -hmm. Since I'm doing like this, just like a, it's just to look like, kind of like, you know, like the more cartoony clip art that we see sometimes mm -hmm. that has like a bit of a shadow. And now I'm doing the same thing, but gray this time at the bottom. Is the template on your Patreon? Yeah, it's on Patreon and in the Facebook group, the little gnome with the... Uh, the so my one is a Patreon. 
Here we go. And I'm going to put a link in the comments as well. And the Valentine's Day thing, I think it's there's I I normally have eyes for you. Is that the pun that you Yes. Have? I have eyes for you. Yes. Normally though, it's oh with okay. the, the you know Wait. there's yes, let me look up the I think that's it. I normally have eyes for you. Okay. okay. Let's see. So I have, there is no, oh, this is cute. There is no one like you. Mm. That is really cute. Um, I love like no other, be my no me. <laughs> um, I will be your friend no matter what. Oh, there is so many of them. Um, well, for there's nobody like you, yes. There is one like that. There is nobody like you. Yes. For St. Patrick's Day, though, I don't know what you could. Well, we have Valentine's Day in, in, in two days. Ems, uh, do you want to check your uh, other device? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not in the thing yet. So I was oh, just okay. All right. I tell you. Okay. Because it'll do you. it again. Yeah. And no one for me but you, yes. Is there, okay. Um, we do have several questions. They are not regarding this project, so we will get to those uh, um, in a break when mm -hmm. we finish this, Sandy. So it's up to you if you like your um, royal icing transfers kind of like really embedded. So you could add them now, or you could let it dry a little bit and then add them. And then they're a little bit more kind of like, raised up i want to say how casually you just dropped it in yeah <laughs> <laughs> here i'm gonna put a heart just for the sake of the valentine's oh, day cute. but you see oh, he gets horrible i love the addition of hands he gets uh, he gets put together very the same question twice when did you get the tweezers just gonna uh, yeah, yeah. They're, um, they're from uh, AliExpress. They're electronics tweezers. Oh, so they're, oh I get that out because I use sewing the tweezers. Okay, electronics. That's a good idea. Well, they also make special tweezers for sprinkles with like a little like rounded. Oh, it's, like a, it's like a little dent, right? Yeah, those you can find on Amazon. Um, if you look up Trage tweezers. Oh, I've never seen those. So now I'm just doing the St. Patrick's Day version. So I added a little lip on his um, on his hat, and I do like that, but he's drier. And then also, if you want, you can come in and add like a, a line in between the body and the beard. You know, guys, the thing is, you change the colors, and you have yourself a Santa. Oh, yeah. For sure. Right? So mm -hmm. here I'm adding my, my little icing glue to my sections. Hey, Lynn. How are you? Hope everyone is good. It's your Lynn, Mar. Yes, I saw earlier she was there. And there he is. I think that, you know, you could also. Oh, this is cute. So cute. I do like the sending sugar. It just the texture. It 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 pops. You know, it's not. Yeah, it wild. makes it look like it's. It almost looks like glitter. Yeah, well, like glitter, right? Yeah, exactly. Without the expense, right? It's not so um price. Like some of the decorations are very expensive. This is probably one of the more affordable any things that you can get to decorate your cookies. Sanding sugar. So basically that's it. I mean, it's just reinventing the cutter and uh, they're very popular right now, the, the gnomes. So you could do, I saw them with, with bunny ears. I saw, oh, I stuck my hand in it. But you could do it so many different ways. And for spring even, pairing it with flowers, a little garden gnome, what he's actually supposed to be. I don't know, did I miss anything, Jeremy? Sorry, you feel attacked. <laughs> oh, come on, what am explaining. <laughs> um, okay, so this is this was a question we had. Maybe we can uh, go back to it from uh, I believe Sandy. She had a quick question about um, 
um, at the malaise. So I think what you're referring to is a frosting sheet where people, because there are a number of ways you can make edible lace. There are products specifically designed for the lay, like for the silicone mat. Um, one of them is sugar veil. Then you have sugar, cake lace, I think. Um, it's, I believe they're either powdered or already pre-mixed. Uh, sugar veil is a powder. You just mm -hmm. add liquid and you have to create this base where you then spread it over the silicone. I think what you are talking about is probably the frosting sheet. That it's I've not seen. a frosting sheet, actually, Han. It's it's edible fabric. I have it here. Oh, it's, oh, it's not a frosting sheet? Oh, okay. Sorry. It's I don't know. Flex frost. Here, let me add it to the stream. It's this. Okay, I thought it was the heavy, okay. So this, all right, so that makes sense. So you can use this, you wet it, and you you work it into the, yes. into, the into the silicone mold. Okay, that makes sense. And then you can make your place. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Yeah, so so the thing that's great about this is I after you've used it, which doesn't apply with the other ones. Let's say you've cut your bits, you can actually re-wet it and re-put it in the mold. Oh, oh that's, that's cool. Have you, have you used it? Yeah, I, I, I have it like kind of like, you know, it's one of those, oh, I'm gonna do it projects. Okay. It's one of those. Excellent. Wow. So, that was, yeah, so that's the, that, uh, that was the answer to the question. Um, and then someone asked, what is Patreon? Patreon. Patreon is a platform where um, creators, like three of us, um, publish exclusive content for people who sign up um, to be our patrons. We offer um, sneak peeks, right? All of our sneak peeks, the exclusive tutorials, ad free tutorials. Um, Hands on um, help if you have questions. Mm -hmm. um, so it is a paid platform. You pay monthly, or you can pay yearly. Is it a is it yeah. a, also a yearly commitment? You can do yearly and save some percentage off. Yeah, if, yeah. If you sign up. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know this fabric sheet. Okay, this is a new one. Thank you. Um, the transfer template that I did, I made it in, uh, put it in my Patreon and on my Facebook, in my Facebook group. There was a question with regards to the shadows. So the shadows, when you're doing a design, um, you can just look at clip art and you'll see certain ones have like multiple like shades of the same color. And so you, if you draw it all, like light comes from one side and you can just do a, a little bit of a shadow from like, you know, you pick either right or left and create a bit of a, of a shadow. It's a completely optional thing. You don't have to do it. On some designs, like I've done it on Santa cookies where the beard is all white, you know, and I find that it like kind of makes that huge area a little bit more interesting than having just this big white uh, mass. I did it on a flower platter. I don't have the picture here, but it, it can, you know, if you have big areas of one color, it kind of makes those big areas a little bit more mm -hmm. interesting. Has some interest, yeah. Yeah. So I think, is there here, Amber? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, my little bakery does really nice cross yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely easier than piping the cross stitch mm. using the fabric, you no know, edible fabric. Um, Good luck in your new business. Great. Yeah, congratulations. That's exciting. Good Good luck. Luck. <laughs> What's, What's going on? It's COVID. Well, they got to, uh, the, you know, some places when they're not used to weather, you know, snow and ice, it really can be quite disastrous. Yes, I, yes, think, it can. I, I yes. think it's that, you yes, know. Indeed. Yes, yes, indeed. Here in Madrid, they were par paralyzed for uh, mm. a few I mean, uh, when we see like the, you, you see like an inch and it shuts down a city, it takes more than an inch for us to have a snow day over here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So Amber, are you ready? 
Do we have like a, some kind of a? <laughs> Oh, sorry. I can't I'm just sweating. I'm so we had like a, uh, like a theme song. Okay, so, but let's there. explain. So Amber is extremely, extremely experienced when it comes to cookie decorating, but she's curiously enough, never, never, she owned it even. She had it in her house, but never tried an airbrush. So today's the day. She's she's throwing off the even training wheel. She's jumping in. <laughs> yeah. And she's gonna do it. So you've got everything ready? I think so. So yeah, this is my, I, I, I put it together. Oh, is there a sound on that one here? Is that, that's better. Good, okay. 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 Um, yeah, can you just like, uh, can you quickly adjust? Okay, can we, okay, we can acknowledge this fact. So, oh, okay. The, we the actually board. have, we have, we actually have, before we went live, we all acknowledge. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I think it's a bit better. The brightness was super, yeah. like, it was very right. bright. Okay, good. Okay, so. Okay, so this airbrush, it, a cordless airbrush, I got this well, from True Color. We can um, see it there. Yeah. So, the you know, the brand True Color, they make natural food coloring. Um, so they sent this to me last year um for me to try and i just opened it last a couple days ago couldn't find the plug couldn't find the charger it was in the box i found it so i charged it um yeah and how long did it take to charge i don't know i just left it for a few hours and it was um yeah it's it's a cute little unit. Yeah, so I have not used it. This is gonna be my first time using an airbrush ever. Well, and I'm scared, but. See here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, so. hey, hey, Donna. This is my friend. From oh, hello, Donna. Hey, Donna. All right, exciting. So what colors are you gonna be using? I'm gonna, so, okay, so I'm gonna try to do a rainbow, um, which we talked about a little bit. Mar and I about how to do that. So I've got uh, my airbrush colors here. I'm going to use pink, blue, and yellow. So I, one second, I, Amber, I just want to know because you've got airbrush colors, but you're saying you never used an airbrush. What do you do with those? Oh, I they sent me these. Oh, I thought you were. <laughs> they've been sitting in a box also for a year. So here. okay, I thought maybe you were using those to paint because you do paint a lot. So I was right. curious. No. no. Okay. I'm gonna um, skip you. So uh, we're gonna do this in a way that we don't have to like clean the airbrush in between. So I don't know what order to go in. So maybe you can help me. Well, first thing I wanna know is, do you have a trash can close to you? Uh, I can get one. Oh, cause to spray it into the yeah. trash can? Yeah, right. just to empty it somewhat. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Trash can acquired. Okay. Awesome. Do you have a, what's, what are you working on there? Do you have a paper towel or something? Um, this is all covered in parchment okay. to protect my surface. I do have a paper towel next to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So usually uh, the thing that happens when you put your airbrush color in your airbrush gun, it's very hard to put X, like what's left over back into your container. So. Mm -hmm. I only do like a drop, two drops. Like I don't put a lot, you know, like you don't want to overfill and then waste your product. So you just need like one drop and you need it to go in that little hole, you know, like it needs to like kind of fall, like it's gravity fed, right? These uh -huh. the airbrush guns. And so you want to try to aim your little squirt of airbrush pigment into the... Do you keep the, the cup closed? I never keep it closed. I, I actually, I think I lost the lid. Me neither. It's so little. You're adding a drop at a time, so it's not going to fall out. Uh, Unless you're pouring in like half of the container, and then I would put a lid on. But you don't have to put the lid on because no. you're just going to put it in. In you have to put it like in the hole. Like okay. <laughs> so and with, uh, with the food coloring you have, it has a nice dropper, so it should be. Yeah. Okay. So. It's what do so you the recommend? lightest color first, right? So you're gonna start with yellow, correct? I that's what I think. Yeah, yellow. Okay, here we go. 
Sorry about the noise. If you hear any banging, it's uh, yeah. So just a couple drops. Yeah, like two drops is usually more than enough. More than enough, and I've never like that particular bottle might squeeze a lot out at a time. So I think I think you're good. All right, so we did two drops. Yeah. And, oh yes, uh, Donnie or Karen is saying. Oh, sure yes, I didn't even see that. Be sure to take the rubber um, piece off. Rubber okay. Piece. Uh, well, it's got a. Are you sure? Because it has a hole in it. Oh. Uh, usually no. You don't. Okay. Have so I'll take this off. Okay. Does it just like if you twist it? Does it just come off? Jeremy no, is no, touching his hand. I think this adjusts the spray because there's a little thing here that talks about adjusting the spray. Because you're out of frame now, I can't really see, but usually okay. that's yeah. just for I would just say just spray with it and see what happens. Take a piece of, do you have paper towel? Yeah. So yeah. just spray, spray on a paper towel first, see what happens. With, with like with it, without it. You, you don't know how you try it. There's nothing right. wrong is going to happen. Don't worry. It's okay to like, you You kind of point it down toward. The yeah, surface. and then uh, uh, you have to turn it on. Yep, good, good point. <laughs> well, right. I wouldn't know how to operate the, the wireless. I only have, uh, you know. Is it making sound? No, I didn't do it yet. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> See, look, is it coming out or is it staying in your lid there? Yeah, I I maybe I need more color because it's not coming out. Should oh, I put more? A little bit more. Don't don't okay. like you don't need to have it like really acute. You just needed it. So try again. That's weird. That plastic thing is weird. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, oh I see. Or oh, yes. Okay. So the closer you are to the surface, the, the narrower your line. The more you pull back, the wider your miss. So it comes out like a triangle, you know? So if you're very close, the triangle's very, like, you know? So the, yes. more, the okay. more you pull back, the, the wider your spray. All right. Um, also, it has this little thing to adjust it in the back. Yes, that's uh, probably for your trigger, like how, uh, how much to, you know, like, but I mean, it looks like it's spray. I can't. I mean, it's yellow, so it's hard to tell. Yeah. But right. I mean, you can you can pass over the same area multiple times to increase your you know your coverage. Yeah. It the thing is, you can't take it off. So you're better to go light and build than to go in super heavy and then find it's too much. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, yellow's got to go in the middle. See, Karen has this, she's saying you have to pull back and down. It's a dual action trigger. Some are just one. Yeah. And some pull and some are pulling down. So this is a pulling down. Okay. All right, so our yellow is gonna make up the orange and the green. So I wanna cover like a big-ish kind of area. Um, so hold on now, then it's the whole center because right, you're gonna come in at the pink, is that it? Yeah, I'll put pink up here and then I'll put blue down here. Okay, you're running it right down the middle. Okay. It's gonna I'm gonna do this yeah, perfect. Uh, horizontal. Right in the middle, yes. All right. Oh that came out faster than I thought. Well that's that's, that's like uh, I mean if you go now further, it'll widen your spray and it won't be as Whiten it, but it'll be less dark. I mean, a yellow cookie's good too, though. Yeah. No, you you you're doing great. You're doing great. Right. Is it fun? Are you having fun yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like to, you know, oh yeah, it'll be fun in a minute, I'm sure. Okay. Okay. I think it's, uh, you, once you figure out the trigger and how yeah, much like, yeah. to pull back and, and all that, you'll be, you'll be found out. I, I yeah, remember I it's the, really confusing. The hard part is, is finding out the distance that you need to be. So just asking how many cookies you got? Um, I have seven cookies. 
So if you want to do another, while the thing has the yellow in it, if not, you're constantly cleaning right. the damage gun. So you should grab another one if you want to do another try. So then, okay. you know thing? so then you don't have to constantly be rotating your colors. And then you wait just for you. Like now you're doing an experiment, but for people watching, you don't want to constantly wash it, washing because then you're throwing your airbrush down the drain. Yes. And it's expensive. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so what about the plastic thing? It seems to be working okay, but. Okay, what's the brand? What is the brand of the, the hairbrush? I think it's part of it because it doesn't, it's like, it has teeth on it that are like moving the, the tip of the hairbrush, you know? Get this. Yes, your, your dad oh, has a great yeah. piece of advice there. He's saying spray before you hit the cookie. So okay. spray spraying off of it and then move on to it. All right. It doesn't make that much noise. I mean, yeah. The compressor usually makes a lot more noise. It's very noisy. Compressor is that's very noisy. Well, that's why I was so afraid of it, because I imagine that it was like this big thing with like a compressor and like a, a hose and but it's just this little thing. Hmm. It's interesting because I'm seeing images of the similar airbrush with the plastic and like, but they are airbrushing without it, like in, a, in their instructional. Hmm. I mean, <laughs> no idea. And you can't take it off. Hmm? It's not coming off easily that I would, say, I would say try taking it off. All right, all right. So maybe it has a function to use for certain techniques, who knows? I don't know. I've never. Um, but let's see if how it how how it feels without it. Okay. Please see Karen's comment. She has this exact one. Okay, Karen. Karen. Okay, Karen. 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 Okay. Like you adjust with the other side. Uh, I have the same one. Take it off. She says to take it off. To take off the plastic. Okay. All right. You got it? Yeah. Oh, cool. okay. We'll just see what that. Do you have enough? Uh... Oh, maybe I need more colors. Might be out. It's a, uh, what is the company again? Pl uh, tr this tr is color? True Color. True Color. True Color? Okay. Yes. True you see when you're working in yellow, it doesn't color so much the cookie. Like Amber, how you, we've talked about you like to have a little co uh, cookie showing around the perimeter. So yeah. when you're coming in with like the blue, well, you're going to end up with the blue on your cookie, you know, which isn't as nice. Right, right, right. But Amber is going to cover it with beaded border. Oh, well, that's it. Yes. <laughs> well, okay. I don't know what's happening now, but it doesn't seem to be coming out. Oh, no? Huh? A little bit. And you put, you put some color in it? Yeah. Huh. Maybe you need, how much did you put? Two, three drops? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a good amount in there. Did you, did you give your color shake before? Since it was sitting for a year? No, no. I mean, I, no, like. But even if she didn't shake it a hand, it's better whatever was, it settled at the bottom. I guess, I guess so. I guess so. I'm just wondering if it's floating. I don't know trying to troubleshoot. It's hard to support and help from here. I want to help. I can't. Oh, Marley would be like, we would be right there. Like there's, I can see color in. Yeah. The. Yeah. Um, uh, try it. Can you, can you take paper towel and press it against and push, like see if the color comes out? Like just see. Is it coming out Wait, at all? Oh, I didn't do back. 
You have to, oh, yes. you have to go. Yes. Yeah. yeah, there was a comment before that you have to press down and back. Dual action, yes. So did you get is that what, what the problem was? Oh okay, here we go. We have problem resolved. So now it comes out a lot more without that. Well, uh, see, it's it's all like this is the learning curve is your finger, like how hard you're pushing, you know, that the intensity of control. Yeah. So you just have to practice that. And then once you've got that figured out, you know, you, you're able to control a little bit more how much color you're spraying. Okay, yes. And That's just like um, you're, when you dilute your colors when you're painting with your paintbrush, you can actually dilute airbrush colors with alcohol. And so your your colors are less intense, you know? Okay, okay, yeah, because this is very like, yeah. It's coming out pretty like heavy now. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> it's really kind of hard to control. <laughs> All right. If if anyone watching is is a little intimidated by the airbrush, you can <laughs> also practice your first time on paper, and so then you get a little acclimated with the trigger, and then you can move on to your cookies. All right. So now. I've got my yellow, so let's switch. So, so I should spray what's left in the trash can just okay. to get rid of it. All right. Do you have water handy there? Um. Yeah. Should I? You could just add a few drops in just to give it a little rinse, and then mm -hmm. you can just shoot it in the trash and then move it because your first sprays will be orange. Right. Those of you just joining us, Amber is testing her very first airbrush that she got about a year ago, and it's her first time using it. So um, she's trying. She we are doing. She's doing three colors using a wireless airbrush. Good luck, Christy, with your new adventure and your Pico. There's all different price ranges. I have some listed in my Facebook, uh, like Amazon suggestions. There, I have a, a tool album, and I've got some listed there that are fifty dollars. So you, there's different price ranges. I think that one that Amber's using is more in the two hundred dollar range, if I'm not mistaken. That's a good uh, suggestion. Angie uses a coloring book to practice. Oh yeah, that would be fun. Okay. Now I'm going to add pink. So I had a lot of yellow in there. I kept, because I kept adding it, you know? Yeah. So now we'll just do a couple of drops of. Yeah, like it's, you'll be surprised at how far just a few drops of color. Um, oh, oh, it's only $50, $60. Oh, well, that's, that's very. Oh, good. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to spray a little on the towel. So if you've never airbrushed, the mist does get like kind of blow around in your kitchen. So be careful if you've got like a lot of white stuff around. Mm. You have to clean up everything. So it is yeah. a bit of an issue sometimes, the, the mist that gets in the air. Okay, so I'm going to do the pink up there and then turn your around amber to have the area that you want to hit closer to flip the heart around you know okay yes okay all right here we go oh that's cool oh. That is cool. I also want to say one thing, and I, I, and I myself keep doing that. I will. I also shake my hand like that with airbrush. You don't yeah. have to do that. You don't, right? You don't have to do that, right, Mara? That's, that's a habit from spraying with a can of of uh, airbrush. I, I do that as well. And when I when I calm myself down and I do it slower, I do better. Like okay. I do better job. Um, but that's uh, yeah. I guess that's yeah. But it looks cool, huh? Yes. Oh, Amber, who's Jewel? Is, Jewel is this your grandmother? That's my grandma. Hi, grandma. Hello. Hi. Hi, we love your art. Yeah. That looks really pretty, Amber. Yeah. Okay. So let's, 
Um, I see like these little white, what do you think that's from? Do you see those white specks? Yeah. That's um, like- the, the, the water. Water. That's the, the, actually the, I've seen that happen depending on the color I'm using. So some mm. are more susceptible to that than others. If anybody has the answer to that, it looks like almost like there's like a surface under that's causing the color not to stick there. Uh -huh. That's what I have. Okay. It only okay. happens with specific colors in my case. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. So I'll try to do it more of a smooth. Oh, see that's you're getting the lighter mist down now. And you see, Edgar, if you had texture on your cookie, let's say your cookie had more stuff going on it, if you go closer, like like you know, like really at the same level and you're shooting your mist, well, you you know, like only certain areas are gonna get the color. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you can get like more of like shadows and stuff. Yeah. Did you burn it? Did you use water to clean the gun? I did. Or, yeah. Okay, so RFI 1981 says for me it's when there is too much water in the gun. So I wonder is, that it, is it possible that it could be that the water wasn't completely sprayed? I don't. I don't know. I could. I think that makes sense. It could have. It could have. It would make so, sense. If you're gonna do like another layer of color, should I just let this dry and then do it? Cause this is too light cause I ran out of color. Yeah, it's already dry pretty much. It right. dries surprisingly fast. Very nice. You're having fun now? Yes. Once you, I think once you see the effect, right? It's like yeah. oh, all these possibilities. Jill, pull out your compressor. She's she's been scared too to unpack them. Oh, yeah. Now I can see the pink. I like I like mm -hmm. that the, on the edges. So your dad says it doesn't matter. He'll eat them no matter what they look like. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> all right. Yes, the stencils, that's the next step, right? Once you get uh, some stencils, you're gonna yeah. love it. Well, I already I already imagine all of mommy. I want it, give it to me, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, right. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this hidden for another three years or so. Well, that um, looks really pretty actually. Okay, so now I wanna have purple on the bottom but there still has to be blue and green in here. So. Well, I don't think you have that much room. Yeah. To um, get like the purple. No, yeah. you, what you're gonna do, how you're gonna get your purple is you're gonna take the blue, spray the, the bottom there, and then come back and hit the edge of the pink at the top. So yeah. I would, so you're you gonna, would want me to go, like you would put your blue in and then go back to pink. No, no. when you no. hit the pink, it will be purple. So you want me to do pink, right? Like I would do pink right now. No, you're gonna do blue there. And so you're gonna get blue, green, and yellow. Okay, so no purple today. No, yes, you will have your purple. Then you're gonna flip your cookie around and you're gonna hit the top of that, those two bubbles and you're gonna get your purple. Oh, so it's purple should be yeah. up here. Yeah. But you're gonna do it with the blue, yeah. But yeah, what if you want the purple down there? Oh, no, you're not gonna, that's, <laughs> okay. that's not gonna happen today because. All right. All right. Well, because you're going to have to, you, well, you could, but then you're going to get orange again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's just not enough room. Exactly. Yeah. Like, if you put the blue, well, you're going to get blue, green, yellow, mm -hmm. right? And then you get your pink, and then you'll get your purple. You get it? Mm -hmm. The fade, that's like the rain, the color wheel. Yes. Rules. All right. So I'm going to um, clean this pink out and put blue. Okay, so while you do that, we can answer some of, okay. some of the questions. So Alexandra is asking, what happens with the taste of the cookie with all the all this paint? I mean, I it's no different really than um, using food gel in your icing. I mean, in some cases, when we make our icing, we put a lot of food color. 
Yeah. I don't think you taste it. Honestly, I don't think you taste it. Um, the main no. The main thing okay, is should I clean your this? cookie is your mouth being all colored. What were you can saying? I, can I? I saw somebody said put vodka in instead of the water to clean it. Should I try that? You can. I mean, I uh, I don't just because like it goes through a lot of your alcohol that's pricey, yeah. right? Right, right, no. right. I don't. Yeah, why do I just spray? Right, I spray it onto the paper yeah. towel until it's dry. Like yeah. okay. Yeah, like so when you eat an airbrushed cookie, you're going to be more like having it on your lips and on your tongue. It's activated by your saliva. And so that's where it gets a little bit um, of, of, you know, the issue. Another thing she could do when you're doing this type of a project, you can just take a piece of paper and rip it, you know, like have it really be jagged, the rip, and then you can do that when you're breaking up your colors and so you get kind of like you know these jagged kind of separate yeah, 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 yeah. the fast way if you don't have a stencil to experiment with your airbrush i use you know what i use uh, for the overspray i use um gift boxes you know the cheap gift boxes for the shirts okay so i make like so i make like so, i'm sorry you're making yourself a little tent. Yeah, so I make like a little booth because I would get, like you don't realize how much overspray, like you are just doing this three inch cookie and then two meters, you know, whatever, four yards later, you yeah. have you have paint from the airbrush. So I do, I make like little booth and it goes flat, you know, the, you know, you know the boxes I'm talking about? Yes, yes. Yeah, the shirt boxes at the dollar store or something. Yeah, they have different sizes. Well, they sell actually a little machine that's like a vacuum cleaner, basically. It's like a little fan that sucks, and you place it in front when you're working, so it, it kind of sucks in the pigment that's kind of in the air. So you, I believe you, yeah, you don't, I didn't, I never had to dilute color when I put it in. These are special colors for airbrushing. Um, I know some people use gel colors mixed with Everclear. I have not tried that. Have you tried that more or do you always use? Well, I mean, the thing is, is your, your, first of all, you have to kind of strain it, right? Because the gel often does have like gel. Like there's, like there's like a goo, like yeah. a yucky stuff. Yeah. That you have to then, yeah, strain. Yes. So you're kind of having to strain out your colors and stuff. Well, today we are using food colors that are specifically designed for the use with an airbrush. And they are more li on the liquid side than the gel. It's not like a gel consistency. Yeah. This is very liquidy. Yeah, it's uh, it's what I like to use when I paint because I don't have the clumps of uh, that gunk in the gel. That makes sense. And so is there blue in there? Yeah. Oh, oh, this is such a nice blue. I love this blue. It's a sky blue. blue. All right, so I'm just going to do the whole, the rest of it blue down here, right? Yeah. There you go. Very nice. So if you hit the, the tips of the round at the other end, if you flip the cookie over, you'll get your purple. Okay. So I am getting a lot of overspray and it's gone all the way up here. So I think you would recommend doing the paper towel thing maybe? Well, then you'll get a line. If You know what I mean? But if you go closer, the closer you are, the less mist you get. Okay. Because the closer, the jet is smaller. Right. And so you get less misting like... Like it comes out literally like imagine a triangle. But you don't have to, like when you go closer, you have to be light on a yes, because then your line is very like it's like writing with a sharpie all yeah, this. Yeah, right? Exactly. Exactly. And in this case, don't even hit the cookie practically. You're hitting right like at the edge of your, you know, you're hitting uh, on the parchment paper, you'll get color on the cookie. Okay.
There you go. And you see what I was saying about the overspray on your cookie? Yeah. You get a lot of pigment on the actual cookie, but you see you got your purple. But it's then the border, you, you put the border on and you put the white border, oh, it's gonna be Oh yeah, I guess you would do, if you covered that part up, it would be better. Now, I think it's just too, I think this is just too dark on top for me anyway. Well, the thing is, is they have pre-mixed um, purple that gives you a, a softer purple. Like this is like you're coming in with the two super dark colors. And of course you're getting yes. like a super dark purple. Yes. Okay, you know, it's not like, so you'd have to. Don is, Don is, is suggesting if you could hold the cookie up a little, then the mist will not go down. We lost Amber. Oh, there she is. Okay. Hi. There you are. I don't know what happened. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do it more like down here. Okay, you're gonna hit the, the yeah. table. So, so um, Laura's saying, should you be holding it like more? Uh, Vertically, I guess. But the thing is, is she's wanting to create a fade. So she's trying to get a bit of the blue onto the next color. So of course, if you're hitting directly from right above, then your spray triangle is not gonna be like fading in as much. Also, okay, so it's like by moving this thing more or less back, it, it makes it heavier or lighter. Yes. So that's like another thing to think about is where your finger is. Yes, it's, it's the dual action is is practice. Like yeah, you have, to decide, you have to be pulling a certain like it's like two things you have to be thinking of. Okay, so this one I think is a little better. Are you gonna try to do the purple or no? No, I don't. I didn't like that, so I'm gonna leave it like this. Go skip it. Okay. I mean, if you want it at this point, you could, I guess, hit the bottom with the pink if you yeah, want. Yeah, go back in with the pink. Yeah. If you wanted, but you see how dark it's looking even on your table? Yeah. You know? But I don't mind the blue, just those three colors, you know? Mm hmm Wow. Okay. You're getting your groove? Yeah. Um, this is the Ann Clark part. Um, three, three inches, three and five eighth inches it is. That's the one that you want to look for. It's also in my Google Valley store. Very nice. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, so now I'm going to be using this. What did you say? You're going to use it? I'm going to use it. <laughs> I've never heard that, that the water can rust the gun. I've had the gun for since 2013. Not the uh, airbrush gun, sorry. I've had the airbrush gun since 2013, and all I use is water to clean it. It also came with these, I don't know what these are, maybe for like cleaning. This is kind of like a scribe tool type thing. It's a spare needle, Amber. Oh, so okay. there's a needle inside the airbrush gun. I think that's a spare needle. This this one. Oh, that's that's a, a some sort of a piece as well. I think maybe the needle as well at the mm -hmm. some sort of a part. Okay. Yeah. Cool. People, are, they, they loved it. Everybody loved it. Good, I loved it too. At first it was scary and not fun, but then it was fun. So as you get better, you'll be able to kind of control a little bit more, you know, your overspray on your cookie, you know? Mm -hmm. Like the thing that, like often. And then when you know you're airbrushing, well then maybe you don't show as much cookie. You know what I mean? Right. Like you go a little closer yeah. to the edge. Um, how far does the mist travel, Sandy is asking. 
Um, I I don't see any. I have this covered in parchment paper over here. I don't think it got very far at all. So this you'll, was, be, you'll be surprised when you're washing. Oh yeah, you <laughs> and then you wet it, and you're like, oh, there is some. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yes. Well, just I have this whole area covered in parchment paper, so just put something down and. Do you have? Oh, it? Yeah, I don't have the icing right now, but I will. Um, I'll pipe it and then post it. Oh, that she'll, she'll post the picture later. Well, that was fun. Thank you. Yeah. For, you know, vulnerable because that could be a little bit uh, intimidating to it, come. It on. was, yeah. To be on live and doing that, that was very, very. Uh, Thank you for helping. Karen, who owns the same airbrush, says it doesn't spray too far. Good. Yeah. Oh, here she's she's saying Angie's saying that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess it does. It depend on the airbrush, you know, and how powerful that is. Um. <laughs> <laughs> hope you noticed it before you left the house <laughs> right. I, I had left the house with you know sprinkles or whatever mm. the litter on my face awesome. uh, the airbrush i use is listed in my facebook there's an album of tools and i have it there yeah you so yeah you so you kept your cool you're so cool <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's. I, I've heard many people find it uh, uh, scary. I mean, and and you know the other thing that I hear people scary. I want to just address this: is people watching our videos saying, "Oh, they, you know, they're worried about making like not being good at making cookies. Just make them. Just make them." And like people are happy even to get ugly cookies. People are just happy to have a cookie. So just take take the plunge and make the cookies. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I do wear gloves. Do you wear gloves more? I always wear gloves. No, I don't. I know I've seen you wear your gloves. I mean, maybe. Yeah. It's, I don't know why the airbrush colors, they, they, they are just. Um, they do stain quite a bit. They, they do stain quite a bit. Like and trying to open the black and it spills and oh, and then I'm trying to yeah. film the video and my hands are like, you know, dirty like. Yes. Yeah. And even the bottle, like if your hands are a bit wet, touching the bottle, you get it all over yourself. Exactly. Exactly. So anyway. Well, that was very, very, uh, I don't want to say we were entertained at your expense. No, expect it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was very fantastic. I, I remember my first time, like doing the, when I, I saw that, I was like, I wish somebody had told me because I didn't know what, and I, I still feel like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Well, it's great to have uh, like all of you in the comments helping me along and giving us tips and so that was a good that was a great lesson for me. Oh this is this is a funny one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, it, it it yeah, it does get everywhere. Yes, but it, it, uh, it, like it really does speed up your process. Like you could like do what the cookie you did and then add the black, you know, like I know you like to do details on the top then you would do like, let's say black, something hard on the yeah. top of whatever writing and it would just uh, make um, things uh, easier. The only disadvantage I find that you have to be careful not to like accidentally, you know, any kind of mist of water, with water or any, well, on royal icing as well, but uh, I think like airbrush cookies, they really show like if you, yeah. A drop of water on it or something. Right, right. Well, that's where you put a flower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. That's true. Um, as a as a reminder, always please do follow us on Desert Network on Facebook. We're trying to reach. Um, where is our little banner? Um, we're trying to reach ten thousand. Here we go. Ten thousand followers. And it's kind of like our hub for all the live streaming that we do. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Twitter, yeah, TikTok, everywhere. Oh, is that a wrap, ladies? Yeah.
So on Friday next week, it's me and Han. Amber has the day off. She's going to be manning the controls. <laughs> so we'll see you next Friday. I'm on Tuesday with Amy. And we'll see you, see you then. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye guys. Is it is it on? No. <laughs> Still here. Still here. <laughs> Should I end it? Like no, I'm. Well, yeah, press it. You can press it. I'm pressing it.